Welcome to the News of Bahrain. Today's News Bulletin. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, emphasized the vital role of the public sector's executive management in implementing the Kingdom's wide-ranging development initiatives and strategies. This came as His Royal Highness Prince Salman yesterday met with recently appointed undersecretaries, presidents and chief executives from various government agencies at Gudaybia Palace. His Royal Highness Prince Salman congratulated the government appointees and wished them success with their new roles. His Royal Highness also stressed the importance of strengthening Team Bahrain's efforts to meet the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals. The Education Ministry has announced that class attendance will be mandatory in the next academic year 2022-23 in all kindergartens, schools, universities, and public and private institutions in all educational stages. The Ministry noted that there will be no choice for the parents regarding in-person attendance or online studying, stressing keenness to provide all the needed requirements for a successful return to school. Electricity and Water Authority Chairman Kamal bin Ahmad Mohammed has announced the launch of the Fixed Electricity and Water Billing System, which allows subscribers who wish to optionally obtain greater flexibility through a fixed bill throughout the year based on the actual average consumption of the last 12 months. Engineer Kamal noted that the system comes within the package of development initiatives that the authority is working on in order to provide the best services and developed solutions to its subscribers. The new billing system is an optional service that allows all subscribers to allocate a fixed bill per month throughout the year based on the actual average consumption of the last 12 months. Bahrain's national carrier, Gulf Air, has announced the recruitment of Bahrainis as cabin crew members. More than 1,300 applicants attended the airline's open day, met senior cabin crew members and learned more about their jobs. The airline aims to enhance opportunities for training and employment of Bahrainis within the kingdom's aviation sector. The Avenues Bahrain has announced the launch of the Avenues Carnival for the third year. The carnival, in collaboration with the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, will be held from August 18th to 27. The performers are set to showcase their talents at the spacious Dome and Grand Avenue districts where visitors can enjoy various circus tricks, theater, and comedy performances. The Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Ministry is keen to strengthen partnership with the UN organizations in supporting national programs in the areas of agriculture and fisheries development that support food security in Bahrain. Minister Wael bin Nasser Al Mubar was speaking at a virtual meeting with the UN and GCC, the sub regional coordinator of the Food and Agriculture Organization, Dr. Dino Franciscotti Mutis. He said that the ministry is working on implementing strategic initiatives that will increase the quality and quantity of food production, ensure the sustainability of locally produced food, and take the necessary measures for the continuation of food imports. <laughs> <laughs>